Uh, folks, what I'm worried about is the places you're going to get caught out in tomorrow. You're going to get caught out because you're going to be describing experiments and you're not going to say, I measured the distance with a ruler. Yeah, so th those type of things. And like saying, oh, I needed to do repeats to re reduce the effect of random errors. Talk about averaging as well. Uh, to spot anomalies. So all of these type of things that you don't necessarily think are very relevant. Like, don't forget to put those down. You're probably going to get like questions where you have to discuss the nature of forces as opposed to like use SUVAT in a mathematical type way. So always try to make distinct points. Uh, you might get a sneaky question on say Newton's third law. So Newton's third law, there's four or five things you always need to remember. There, it's a two body problem. So if I push Lucy that way, Lucy's actually pushing me this way. So it's opposite direction. It's the same magnitude of force. So whatever force I exert that way is going to come back this way. Um, it has to be the same type of force. So obviously, if I'm pushing something, that's going to be electromagnetic in nature. So that means it must be electromagnetic in nature back on me. So same size, opposite direction, uh, same type of force, same line of force. There's another one. Uh, opposite bodies. Opposite bodies, two body problem. Thank you very much, Lucy. So um, don't get messed. Don't mess up uh, that particular question. Okay, we'll leave that one there. Go on.